We've reversed the top eight from yesterday's race to set the grid for the sprint race here today. And the drivers are almost ready on the grid down below. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. We start in F2 and we work our way up to F1. Now, today we're here for the sprint race at the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa. And if you haven't seen our feature race, you definitely should. Uh, we had a great start and a terrible ending. And that is why we are trying to fight the championship. Hopefully we still have enough races to actually win and get a good start here. Matsushita, get out of the way. Yeah, we had a great start. We, we, we're number one in qualifying. For the first, we had a great lap, and I guess uh, it stops under a VLSC, I guess virtual safety car. Don't count, so it didn't count as us having tires, so I need the risk of uh, changing my tire. My tire is a little bit too late. And it kind of happened that we then pushed a little bit too hard. And uh, that happened, and we just we wiped out. And placed seven. All right, we're looking good so far. Now our goal is to finish up high on podium at least, or if not first, and make sure that Hubert doesn't place within the top, of, let's say three or four, just in case. Now we got a pass block watching here. Get out of the way, Bakalach, you slow. Twelve percent after the first lap. Not, not, not bad. Not great. I can hang in fourth gear through there as well. They turn in.
Oh, right, that's more like it. I think I need a new faster. I pay attention to my lines and actually my breaking points. I hate to turn the left, left curb going down there in that corner. Oh, it's a nightmare waiting to happen, pretty much. Such a two was slow. so far. That wasn't supposed to happen. At least we're still for it. I think we had a little bit of a crunch, not not a lot. Didn't have enough to, to damage our whole world chroming so it doesn't work. Oh my god, that understood though. Okay, well, at least Hubert's not in the top six. <laughs> but man, another mistake. Pushing too hard, trying to get the good lap times. That's what happened. Alright, Matsushita, let's get out of the way, bro. Ah, oh, he backed out. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. I don't think I'm close enough for DRS, but unless it will be. Yeah. Anyway, if it's us both, second, third, or first, second, it'll be great. I'm not gonna defend this. It's a little bit too far away for that. For the move.
because we have four laps to catch Bokulachi. That should be very doable. You know, I'm just trying to keep these uh, races somewhat eventful for you guys by uh, making mistakes. It's not just how good, uh, what kind of driver I am. Just, just used to making those mistakes there under pressure. <laughs> Oh, he's going in for the pit stop too. Oh, unless he's in the pit stop too, hey? Wow. Giuliano is coming in for his stop. I don't know why he is. He should just kept going. Like we should go the last with those tires. They're what? They're 30%. Six laps. Another... Yeah, oh yeah, we're fine. We're gonna do about half. I'm very curious where Anton Hubert is. My fastest sex sector too, wow. I didn't think it was that smooth. Am I the only one doing one stop? What the heck? Everybody's in the pit stop? Yoro Latifi, Sitkamara. Tire condition is still looking good. Alright, unless he's fifth, that's good. Pretty far back though. Gap to teammate behind is thirty two point one seconds. Let's see, like right now, I could technically go in the pits and come out probably third. Stuff like that happens. Get my tires all dirty and, and destroyed. 
Should have been third gear through there, but I held fourth. I was like, wait, why am I understeering? I was like, oh, a little bit too late to realize. But I was still in fourth gear. Just gotta pay attention a little bit more, really. Glad her first crash didn't destroy the front of it. That would have been game over pretty much. Somewhat conservative here, those corners. Final lap. Let's bring her home and get those points. There's a pretty big cut there. But the track limits, right? The track limits are fine with that. Bring this baby home. Half a lap, like quarter a lap, eat that. A few more corners, then that's it. Woo! Absolutely awesome. Just that's amazing. how they do it. There we go. Brilliant. Another podium for us.
And I wonder how many points, does that, does that give us 18 points for first place in sprint race or that's still 25 points as well? I guess we'll see after this lo it's the part load we've time. Been for. The podium Ooh, finish, it's another first place. Unexpected finishes in a while. Trident take the victory. Trident take the victory again. So then, it's time to see how this 17. result affects Oof. the drivers. It was not the best weekend for our championship leader and their ha. advantage at the Hubert, top. Hubert, zero, finished. yes, that's good. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Well, he had a great drive today, somewhat unexpected, baby. But I'm going for Sergio Sette Camera. Quick, clean, and in control. Yeah, he started 19. Wow. I think it has to be a Luca Gion. Luca started you know, 20th. Good stops. Target, some nice passage. Yeah. I can't really think of anyone who could my ass more today. And no stop is the way to go. Up in the team's championship. Trident moved further ahead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Campos this weekend. So, Hubert zero. Driver of the day also did a fantastic zero. But I have to vote with my heart, and today I have to go in a different direction. So 184, so we're 16. Okay, so this is still close. We still win the race. Team standings. We're still good. We're ahead of the game there. Um, that's good. Driver standings were good. I think we're still we're still okay for the driver championship. If we can get Alessi a little bit higher up, that would be great too. But as long as we win both, we should be good. So, thanks everybody for checking out this episode. Thanks everybody for sticking with this series. We're almost done the F2 side of the series, and then we'll jump onto F1. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification button. Hit the subscribe button so you're part of the group. And we'll see you guys next time.